you ever talked to an employee and felt like you were banging your head against a brick wall because they just didn't understand what you were trying to tell them, no matter how many times or ways you rephrased it? Unfortunately, this is something that happens in every business, every day. And no matter your size, no matter who you're talking to, between customers and CSRs, or between technicians and managers and managers and business owners and business owners and customers, it doesn't matter because a lot of times we have incorrect assumption about communication. Welcome to the Morning Huddle video and blog. I am your host, Brianna Bowman, and I have two degrees in organizational communication and am the PR specialist with the Dwyer Group, which hosts seven different brands, including AirServe, Glass Doctor, Grounds Guys, Mr. Electric, Mr. Appliance, Mr. Reuter, and Rainbow International, our flagship franchise opportunity. Thank you for joining us today, and we will be discussing the DISC profile. The DISC profile is four different personality types that allow us to understand how people communicate with each other. The dominant, the influencer, the steadiness profile, and the conscientious profile. Each of these profiles has major qualities which make them different in how you should approach talking to them. So let's dive right in and discuss these different personality types. The first one is the dominant personality type. The dominant personality is characterized by assertiveness and control. Dominants like things to be given to them in a very succinct manner. They like the information straightforward. They like all of the facts and they like to be able to make choices. So give them the choices and give them the opportunity to make decisions. They are what we consider to be drivers in an organization, people who move others forward. And they are absolutely critical because there are other personality types which slow the group down, which is good from that angle. But drivers help to keep people on pace and moving into the next idea, the next movement to implement action items, and they are critical in that role. So now that we have, we understand the dominant personality type, how do you communicate with someone with a dominant personality? So go ahead and present facts in a very straightforward manner. Timely, complete information is what they're craving. They don't really care for small talk as much as the other profile types do. So while a couple of sentences might be great, a lot of times you'll notice that these people come across as curt and sometimes even rude, but it's just their personality profile and how they like to talk to one another. Be understanding of that. Not everyone communicates the same way that you do, but also be aware that if you are a dominant personality type, your employees may read you as curt and rude. So just be aware. So into re to recap, give them all the information they need right off the bat, very quickly, to the point very little small talk. So on to personality profile number two, the influencer. The influencer is mainly characterized by assertiveness and emotional intuition. They are often optimistic, they are enthusiastic, and not afraid to exhibit emotion. These people are the merging of assertiveness and emotional natures. They are often considered to be social specialists. They can be conflict negotiators. They are spokesmen and women. They are the people who motivate others, and they are essential to your group as well because they inspire others to keep moving forward. And they also can notice conflict between individuals, whether it be a manager and a coworker or two CSRs that are just not getting along in the office. They may actually go in and help those two work out those problems, and they'll be proactive about that, which can be a huge advantage to you if you have one of these people on your team. But how do you communicate with the influencer personality type? When talking to them, find the middle ground between chit chat and assertiveness because they're not quite as assertive as the dominant personality type, but they do like to get things done and they are a heavy, dom a heavy driving force in the organization. They are proactive. They do things very quickly. So influencers work best in environments that move at a quick pace, but also enjoy that emotional and social interaction. So if you ever put a, a, uh, an influencer in a closet and leave them there and expect them to be happy, then you're messing up. <laughs> you need to give them the freedom to be social and to interact with other people and to let them share those, um, emo let them use their emotional intelligence in a very great way. Influencers often like to see things in written format. So someone who is an influencer might actually prefer you to email them with criticism or suggestions for improvement rather than giving them that direct face-to-face -face conference and uh, confrontation that you would get from a dominant personality style. 
And now on to the steadiness profile type. <coughs> Excuse me. The steadiness profile type is described by responsiveness and amenability. In other words, they are emotionally expressive, personable, non-argumentative, cooperative, and extremely supportive when it comes to emotional trouble and trials. They play a critical play role in the workplace because they're highly dependable and provide stability within a group, which would otherwise be unpredictable. So they are the people that everyone else kind of anchors towards, that they know they're always going to be there. They may not be the fastest worker in the group, but they do always perform. They are always there, they're always reliable, and they always uphold their bargains. Those are the people you can always rely on. So how do you communicate with a steadiness profile? Well, start with an icebreaker. They like a little bit of chit chat. Be prepared to listen carefully. So if you are a dominant personality type and, and you're not a big listener, that is a skill you might want to improve personally on. That's something I had to improve personally in order to be, be a better communicator with those steadiness profiles. Also, um, be observant and watch for signs of hurt feelings because if you ever come across as curt, you can actually offend someone who is very emotionally sensitive to nonverbal cues that we don't even know we're exhibiting. I am a dominant personality type and I have hurt someone before because I simply just didn't pay attention to how their emotions were reacting on their face. So if you know someone is very sensitive, be cautious, take time, slow down, be intentional about slowing down in that conversation and having an easygoing chit chat with them. Don't go straight to the point. To ask about their kids, how their wife or their husband is doing, what um, hobbies they've taken up. That can be a huge advantage to you in building that relationship with that individual because that's what they want. They want that personal relationship with their boss or with another coworker or the manager. And finally, the last personality profile type is the conscientiousness profile type. These are characterized by being very analytical and being very organized, which is also a critical role in the workplace. I know as a dominant personality type that I like to place things here and there. I always seem to know where everything is, but it's also very difficult to um, keep track of things occasionally. And that's why conscientious profiles are so important because they keep you organized. They keep you cautious. They also like to have all of the information. They are the people that will suggest further research, looking into it more, wanting to know more about this or that before we move on something. And this is also critical. While you have drivers who are dominant personality types and influencers who are also somewhat um, driver personality types, you definitely need to have a conscientious person who is keeping you grounded and making sure that you're not making impulsive decisions. And that's, that's a huge role of what they do. So how do you communicate with a conscientious profile type? Like the dominant style, they prefer directness and careful objectivity when making decisions and when they communicate. They have a unique ability to remove their personal bias for the good of the decision and for the good of the group. So while they may feel strongly about an issue, they are willing to set that aside, which is a very rare quality and an excellent um, quality for a team member and a leader to be able to make those decisions without a heavy influence of bias. Uh, as such, avoid rambling. Small talk and emotional appeals. Bring them data, bring them statistics, bring them logical arguments. If you have something that you want them to improve, tell them why it would be beneficial both for them and for the group around them. And try not to seem too impulsive when you're talking to them. They like, um, they like more time to make decisions. So don't expect an immediate answer from someone who is a conscientious profile. Say, here's the question, here's the information, let's get together tomorrow or the next week and discuss how we can implement this. Now these descriptions are just a brief glimpse at the DISC profile, but by learning to implement these disc profile interpretations in a lifelong manner, you can really improve how you communicate with your employees. And again, there is no perfect combination of communication styles. You will never be able to master all of them, but you can continue to improve. It's also important to note that there is no 
perfect personality when it comes to communication or just general personality types and you're never just a dominant or just an influence or just a steady or just a conscientious profile type. You are a mixture of all four. In fact, you could even be a dominant personality type at work but a very steady personality type when you're at home. It really depends on the situation about what you're doing and um, the situation that you're in. So thank you for joining us in today's morning huddle video blog. I know this is just a brief glimpse and if you have any questions, this is a lot of information in a relatively short amount of time, but please feel free to leave me a comment below and I will get back to you and I can even email you if you want to shoot me an email at Brianna, B-R-I-A-N-N-A dot Bowman, B-O-W-M-A-N at DwyerGroup.com. I would be happy to answer your questions and suggestions and make a video that caters to what you need for your small business. Thanks again and have a world class day.